right guys, today we're going to unbox the Spider-Man Homecoming Spider Drone. Yeah, I got it on, I got it on sale at Best Buy. I think this thing was originally like 80 bucks or 89 bucks, but I got it up at Best Buy. It was on sale for 49 and then I used, I had $10 uh, rewards that came in from um, when I bought that Wingsland thing. Because whenever you buy one of these at Best Buy, they don't give you the rewards right away because they gotta make sure you don't return it. And with me, since I'm a Platinum uh, member <clears throat> and I have 30 days to return anything, no questions asked, so I have to wait 30 days to get the rewards. So that's what the deal is with that. So the box is pretty cool. It's pretty fancy. It tells you, you know, all the mumbo jumbo on there. Throw that off to the side. There's the quad right there. It's got these little feet on here. I guess you have to leave them on there because, you know, it's got the inverted prop, so you don't have a choice but to leave them on there. You won't be able to take it off unless you hand launch it, which I'm not going to do that for something like this. Then underneath here, there's nothing here but that. Then underneath here is the transmitter. It's your standard Sky Viper transmitter. That's who makes this, by the way, Sky Viper. And then there's a box in here for the battery, of course. And the charger. And the spare props. Let me dump all the junk out. There's the spare props. They give you a full set. Here's the battery. And here's the charger. It's just one of them little USB deals. It's got that JST connector on there. And the battery is a 3.7650. So I'm thinking a 3.7650 for this. You're probably looking at about seven minutes, I would say. That would be my guess, would be about seven minutes. It plugs in the back right here. There's where it plugs in at. And it just slides into this little carriage. You know, you just pull this back and slide the battery in and out, you know. So that's how that works. And there's those little notches right there in the front to keep the battery from slipping out the front you know it's one of them deals there's a lot of quads that have that kind of set up now I noticed that by looking at the box and anything doesn't say anything about flips but um, it has uh, three speeds on it uh, they're right there there's the three speeds right there in the front you just click that little switch right there and it has the auto launch and the auto land right there. It's marked for you, you know, so it's not uh, uh, hard. And it has the auto and manual mode. The auto mode is the altitude hold and the manual mode is the non-altitude hold. Other than that, it doesn't have anything. Now, <clears throat> with these Sky Viper quadcopters, they don't have, and this is all the ones I've had, they don't have compass calibration by the stick. It's done automatically uh, on their quadcopters. When you turn on the quadcopter, when you put the battery in and plug the battery in, because it doesn't have an on-off switch, when you put the battery in there and plug it in, it automatically goes into the compass calibration. So you always want to plug these things in when it's on a level surface, because it will throw these things out of whack. If you're like, holding this thing 
and trying to, you know, you put the battery in here. Say so you slide this down, pop the battery in there. Because I noticed this on a couple of my other ones. Okay, and you plug the battery in like you've got it up in the air like this and plug it in. Don't do that. Have it on the surface when you plug the battery in. Because if you do it when it's up in the air like this, it'll act all kinds of crazy because it's going to think that's level. Okay, and it's not. So it's going to act like this is level. I had a hell of a time with that little 550 nano until I figured out, you know, I knew it had the auto calibration, but it just didn't occur to me when I was first farting around with it, you know, turning it on, you know, while I was holding it, getting ready to set it on the table. No, you want to have it on a flat surface when you power it up because that's when it goes into the automatic uh, compass calibration. So always remember that with these uh, Sky Viper deals. But uh, I mean, I don't know how much longer Sky Viper is going to be around now Toys R Us is closing. They'll probably go out of business because I think that uh, they sold, uh, you know, like 80% of their quadcopters through Toys R Us. So with Toys R Us closing up, you know, Sky Viper might be uh, hitting the dirt unless they can come up with a, you know, a deal for with Walmart or Target. You know, I know that Tar uh, Walmart has some um, of Sky Viper products. But they don't have all of them. They just have a couple. And Target, I don't know, because I don't go to Target, so I don't know what they sell, you know, as far as quadcopters are. I haven't been to a Target for forever. So, that, like I said, it doesn't do any flips, so, you know, that's the downside of it. But, you know, we'll see what happens. It might fly good. Who knows?